I want to tell you the story of Marion Stokes. From 1977 to 2012, 35 years, she recorded the news, local, cable, and network um, in her house and accumulated 140,000 VHS tapes. Her goal was to always make this her legacy, to make it an archive. And it is actually going to be archived. It's going to be sent to the television section of the Internet Archive digitized, transferred over, digitized, and made available uh, as a database. So I went into this article thinking about how this woman like was dedicated and like had this mission and she wanted a legacy, but it reads so much like a compulsion. I disagree. Um, I do fair. think she recorded a huge amount. Usually submissions to the Internet Archive are large collect collections of 100 VHS tapes. She had 140,000. She spent her days recording several recorders at once. I believe the number is eight, and watching two TVs at once. Her life, she had started as a librarian and then moved on to produce a local news show with her, her husband and became interested in this after that. Uh, it, it's easy for me to relate to because I had worked in local news prior to coming here. I had worked three years as a producer, editor, assignment editor, um, writer, that's how I got my Emmy, and then I've done two years as a reporter anchor. It's, it's very different from what we do here at the Young Turks, but it is, it is a medium, I believe, that w was worth preserving. The nature of, of news is that you record something on a tape, and when the day is over, it's gone. You recycle the tape, and for most, for most instances, only one record exists of the newscast later on in a reel downstairs in a very disorganized basement. Uh, at least at my station it was. Maybe other stations were better. But it's, a, it's, it's interesting that she used VHS tapes and she did news. These are both formats that are starting to dwindle out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all that she had at the time. Yeah, well, and, she was and she still never doing bothered this in 2012. to update, which is interesting. But I mean, she's got a system, which is sort of why this reads a little bit like an addiction. Um, well, she believed it was worth preserving, and I do agree. Right. First of all, let me say I applaud her efforts. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with this. It's perfectly healthy, and you are doing the world a service. Yes. That said, she would wake up early to change tapes. She would cut short meals and family events, like leave to make sure that she was home in time to change tapes. Uh, she filled multiple apartments with VHS tapes. She had like multiple, like she paid for multiple cable subscriptions at these multiple apartments to record with multiple setups. She had to hire someone to help her. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like hoarding, Here's but hoarding information. See, here's, here's where I diverge from you. Okay. It was her life's work. It's what she felt was the most important thing that she did with her life. Would you not make sacrifices for your life's work, for what you felt was the most important thing and the reason why maybe your raison d'etre reason no, to exist? No, that's fine, and that's beautiful. I like that. And I think it's, it's beautiful because, yes, yeah, she has had 140,000 VHS tapes, but that will soon be digitized into, well, the inter Internet Archive, their recording system is a little different. It's just a computer and a few um, hard drives, and that's it. It doesn't take up much room at all. And we never recorded most of these uh, newscasts before. Like, maybe uh, a reel exists elsewhere of the raw footage, but what happened in the newscast itself is gone. And I th believe there is educational value in this. Um, not just for journalism students, but maybe for art students. This was used, the, the Internet Archive had been, well, A and Internet Archive had been made available for Vanderbilt University students, and that, that's an art school, and they, like, so many of the students went over and used these archives, and I think there's, I don't know, maybe I have but a compulsion, to too. It. They did have to pay for it. Otherwise I don't know sued, which how, is interesting. Well, because, you know how news stations now are like, if you want a copy or a transcript, please send us $10. Any unauthorized redistribution, rebroadcast, mm -hmm. strictly prohibited by the Major League Baseball. And well, that's different. Yeah. But I think there's a great beauty in, this is going to sound dumb, I think there's a great beauty in storage and data and, and having that limit removed. 
being able to, to store everything and have everything. It reminded me of a Ray Bradbury quote where, who had always been a staunch uh, supporter of libraries, that's where he was educated. He said, I spent three days a week for 10 years educating myself in the public library, and it's better than college. People should educate themselves. You can get a complete education for no money. At the end of 10 years, I had read, read every book in the library and I'd written a thousand stories. So I think that yes, it is different than reading a book, but there is educational value in it, and it does uh, pay a testament to being able to educate yourself on the internet and being able to learn um, on your own independently. And I think that's the great beauty of being able to store all this information. You know what's actually kind of cool? What? She's from the Philadelphia area. That's where you are from. Which is where I'm from. And I've been on the local news in the Philadelphia area. So I'm on one of her tapes, almost guaranteed. Wow, that's great, Tim. It's kind of interesting <laughs> to me, anyway. <laughs>